Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 1e. I'm going to do question 3. So if you look on page 34 of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics, you'll get your, your diagram. So we've drawn our x and y axes, making our x y plane, or our Cartesian plane. We've drawn the vector a on the left, and vector b, we'll say, 60 degrees north of east. Now, what we're given in the problem is that the vectors a plus b are parallel, sorry, the, we'll say the vector a plus b is parallel to the y-axis. Now what does that mean? Well, say this vector here is parallel to the y-axis. It means it's got, its, it's got no component uh, in the, the x-axis or in the i-hat direction. That's what that means. So all the stuff, we'll say in the, the, the x-axis, sum or go to zero. Uh, also, we need to note the fact that the, the, we need to know, we'll say, the polarity of the signs associated with the different quadrants of our plane. Up here, both are plus. Uh, up here, because we'll say that the arrow shows it's plus upwards for y, and this way plus to the right for x. Plus, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus. Uh, oh, that's incorrect. That's minus, minus, plus, minus. Alright, so uh, now that we know that, we can begin to solve our problem. So we notice straight away that a, the vector a, is only in the x-axis, therefore its magnitude, well its magnitude of a is equal to 4 units, its direction is equal to minus i hat, therefore the vector a is equal to minus 4 times i hat. Alright, that's a. What B? Well, we'll, we'll unresolve this okay, into its component unit vectors. So this is B times, uh, let me think now, sine of 60. Alright, that's, oh, couldn't see that, I'm sorry, my apologies. Down here, this vector down here, well, actually this vector here, then this vector down here is B times the cos of 60. So that means that means that b is equal to uh, plus because remember this is plus plus so it's plus b times the the cos of sixty so the cos of sixty is root three over two wrong the cos of sixty is a half plus that's sorry excuse me that's in the uh, the i hat direction plus b times the sine of 60, which is what? Root 3 over 2 in the j hat direction. Okay, that's b. But we know a plus b is parallel to the the uh, parallel to which one? Parallel to the j hat axis, therefore it's got nothing in the i. So what is a plus b? We know again, of course, that you can add vectors that are facing the same direction. So in this case, you can see that there. We know this vector here and this vector here are in the same dimension. In other words, they're on the x dimension. Whereas this is going, uh, we'll say, to the left, this one's going to the right. And this one here is in the positive j direction or on the y axis. And that's all there is to it, really, because there isn't a, there isn't a, y, a y component in, the, uh, in, in vector a. So a plus b is equal to minus 4 plus b over 2 i hat. Plus um, b root three over two j hat. What do we know? This equals zero. Therefore, minus four plus b over two is equal to zero. B is equal to uh, sorry, b over two is equal to four. B over two is equal to four. B equals eight. Check that at the back of the book, and that is correct. So I'm just going to write, not take a note of that up here. B magnitude of B is equal to eight units. Okay. Now we know this is this is the vector a plus b there in front of you. We know all in the i hat direction sums to zero. So just get rid of it. And we're left with b times root three over two j hat. But we know that b is equal to 8, so therefore 8 over 2 is what? 4. 
So the answer is a plus b is equal to 4 root 3 in the j hat direction. Is that correct? Yes it is. So please subscribe to my video or wrong, please subscribe to my channel, pass the video around to your friends and thanks for watching.